welcome on back to the dojo yeah what's going on crumbs congrats on redeeming first pro welcome on in i know the schedule is a little bit weird this week it is a tuesday this is not a normal stream day for us in the dojo squad here but we are here nonetheless we are streaming some of the legend of zelda how are you guys doing crumbs and pro i hope you're having a good tuesday uh, we are here in the uh, Gerudo Desert because we have not really explored the desert whatsoever in the entire playthrough. And if you look at my adventure log, if we go to... Oh, the lights are flashing red. I, that means Revered's here. What's up, dude? What's up? Welcome on back to the dojo. Good to see you. If you guys look at my, uh, my regional phenomena quest here and we look at the map, there's only one regional phenomena. There's only one that it marks. The Hebrew one is done, you know, the one in the Rito, uh, Rito area, the one in the Elden area is done, and the, uh, the Zora area is done as well. We've done the Water Temple, but we have not yet gone to the desert. So, today we are going to make the trek down this road here, all the way to Gerudo Town. We're going to figure out why the heck this desert is covered in a sandstorm, and we're going to take on the Electric Temple, wherever that may be. But uh, as we make our way down to Gerudo Town, let me know how you guys are doing. How's your Tuesday going? I want to buy from uh, from Beetle over here real quick. I didn't even know Beetle was at this bazaar. This is the first time I found him here. But I usually buy him out from Arrows, so let's do that. Oh my god. <laughs> my control stick's just going all over the place. No, oh, I want to hit them all. I don't know why it keeps going back up like that. Come on, work with me, controller. There we go. Your day's been well. I'm glad to hear that, pro. What'd you do today? Since, you know, you're you're out of school now. You're on summer vacation. You can't go on your computer. It's not working right now. That's not good. What happened to your computer? Did it just, like, stop turning on? You're, oh, I forgot you were pulling an all-nighter, pro. Yeah, how was that? You, uh, did, were you hanging out in real life with your friends or were you just uh online hanging out with them well what did this all-nighter partake of have you slept at all or are you still kind of going on your all-nighter okay you were all playing online gotcha gotcha your computer's turned on but you can't use it that's not good well at least it turns on hopefully you can like diagnose the issue you can't click on anything with your mouse. Uh, does your keyboard work? Maybe it's just a mouse issue. What the heck is that? Oh wait, isn't that one of those things I can ride in the desert? Well, he's running away from me. This is fine. You know what? We'll make our way without him. Isn't the road... Where's the road? Oh, look at this. Okay, there's a gust of wind we can take. This'll work fine. You're still going on your all nighter Dude, get some sleep. Oh my god. Get some sleep. I appreciate you being here, Pro, but geez, prioritize your health a little. Uh, okay. We're not gonna be able to see anything. Yay. We're just gonna keep going in this direction. I know it is straight in this direction, so uh, that's, uh, that is where we're heading. It looks like a small chasm here. Oh yeah, desert rift. Good. There's a little chasm. Let's just, uh, oh boy. I may have gotten myself into a little pickle here. Hang on. Hang on, we gotta we gotta get some climbing armor out here. There's one thing I have that lets me climb sideways. I have a lot of extra gear now. I've been playing off stream a bunch. So this Ravio's hood somehow lets me climb sideways faster. So that helps in this instance. You wait until your dad gets home and the keyboard works. So it sounds like it's just a mouse issue then. But yeah, wait until your dad gets home and maybe he can help you fix it. You'll get sleep tonight. It kind of fixes my sleep schedule. I mean... I don't think you can, like, instantly reset your sleep schedule after an all-nighter. That That's a lot. How, how many hours have you been awake for if you're still on your all-nighter? Uh, alright, so... I don't know which way we're facing. I think we're still facing the right way. I'm pretty sure we're just heading this way. I don't even remember. Oh, God. Pro, you're, you're gonna get delirious. You've been awake so long. Oh, there's another... Okay, hang on, hang on. There's another gust of wind. We can use that. We could totally use that to our advantage. That's very helpful. Stay away from me. Dumb electric keys. You've just been playing games? I mean, yeah, I would too. What the frick is that? What is this thing? Wait, I can't hit it. Hello? My arrow damaged it, but that was it. Oh, God, get back. 
Yeah, I knew that was gonna explode. <laughs> Got him. You know what these are? I've never seen that before. That was a creepy looking thing. A gidbo? What the heck is a gidbo? I've literally never heard of that. Give me the volt fruit. Give me the volt fruit. Give me the volt fruit. That didn't work. All right, whatever. Oh, wait, wait, there's a cave over here. There's a Satori thingy. That means there's a cave nearby. Show me where the cave is. Uh, all right, sounds good. Thank you for letting me know, Karate Mom. Gotta take a real quick break, one sec. Just had to close the window. We are good to go. Gonna go grind FIFA? Alrighty, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, appreciate it, Crumbs. Whoa, okay. Um, I did not expect to fall down a hole, but here's the cave we were looking for. And the best part about having the other, uh, the other sages is you can use their powers to just break open rocks. It's great, makes things so much easier. Yeah, that monster wasn't too annoying for my first encounter, Pro. The Gidbo wasn't too bad. You finished your temple, so you're moving in. Wait, uh, your temple and what? All right, well, there's a bunch more of them in here. Things might get interesting now. Run away! Your Minecraft temple, gotcha, gotcha. The the one that you were like hoarding a shitload of resources for, that one? All right, yeah, these things are annoying. It's so hard to do damage to them. I'll, I'll pass, I'll pass. I'm just looking for the, uh, the bubble frog. Where's the bubble frog? There he is. Exactly what I wanted. There's probably something more still in here, but that's my main priority whenever I find a cave is just find the bubble frog. Get the bubble frog. So I have 21. I think, I don't even know how many there were left. Maybe a uh, 100? So there was like 147 total. So, Maybe, I, I forget how many um, Kilton took before I have to just find the rest of them. We can go ask them, but there's probably like 80 or 70-ish left. There we go. All right, I'll take bright, bright bloom seeds. I don't really need them too much anymore because a majority of the depths is already unlocked. That's okay, we'll take them. Oh, this just took me straight out. Uh, it looked like there was more to that area. You know what? Doesn't matter. We got what we came for. We got the bubble frog. Let's keep moving. Uh, that's not what I want on. I want this. I, I want to not die from heat stroke. Oh, all right. Lightning striking. That's not good. I didn't do that. The lightning wasn't me. Unbearable heat so Oh my God. How hot is it here? Will these protect me? These will not protect me. Um, I'm concerned about all the lightning here. Is anyone else also? I saw there was someone. Oh, that's a that's a Gerudo citizen. Nice. I need more bows. It's still a work in progress. You might add in some secrets. Maybe one day you could join the server. I'd love to see around it, pro. All right, we got a cutscene here. Get a cutscene. Oh, I guess this is the like new champion, maybe, since we're getting a cutscene, the new Gerudo champion or the new sage. Yeah, because they've got the power of lightning. That's why. Yeah, it's definitely them. I think they missed. <laughs> missed again. Not just any Gerudo person, exactly. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. Oh, it's, you think it's the daughter of Urbosa? You're probably right. It's you. Let me know if you guys can hear my fan at any point. This changes things. I this changes things. See you here. Well, here I am. It is Riju, chief of the Gerudo. You were right. It is Riju. <laughs> but then you always show up in unusual times. Link always shows up when he's needed. I've just been exploring the entire map before I got here, you know? Wasn't my first priority getting to Gerudo. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky, Zelda vanished right in front of you, and now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. 
Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. Yeah, there's kind of a sandstorm going on. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It's blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking, uh, calling them Gidbo, so I've already seen them. They're so annoying. Physical attacks won't work against them. They are slow, but they still make investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. Yeah, I've noticed physical attacks don't, don't work. Were you watching just now? Yeah, I was watching. You missed your target. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be effective weapon against the Gidbos. Oh, that would be very useful. This technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it, and I still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gidbos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of the Sand Shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. Well, that seems like a little bit of cheating. You're just using me to aim you completely. You're not doing any of the work. <laughs> All right, let's do it, let's do it. Right there. That worked. Now let's try something a little trickier. Three at once. I mean, shouldn't I just, instead of aiming, uh, instead of aiming for the area, right in the middle of the three. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, they're not in a line, are they? No, no, they're in a triangle. All right, well, that I, still makes sense. Uh, hello? Lightning? Do I have to be next to you? There we go. I think I just had to be next to her. Or, hello? Do you work? There we go. All right, that was weird. <laughs> Riju is from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I feel like I remember there was a young kid. I don't remember too much about my time in Breath of the Wild, especially Gerudo Town, but I feel like there was a young kid there. The Gidbos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Oh, there's the voice. I think we've started the quest for the Lightning Temple. What was that? It didn't sound like any noise the Sand Shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... Chief! We received word that a swarm of Gidbos are attacking the Karakara Bazaar. Uliara is already on her way there. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to the Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask you for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows makes us a formidable pair. Do you remember the bazaar? It's uh, it's the oasis northwest, sorry, northeast of Gerudo Town. Yeah, we were just there. We can go there. We can go back there. Can I just warp there? Uh, I'm pretty sure I can just warp there. Hopefully that works. If not, I can't warp back to where I was. Although I do have travel medallions now, so I can place them down. This is the car car. Yeah, there we go. This is the bazaar. You went to Gerudo Town first? Nice. <laughs> yeah, we played that a little bit opposite. This is my last temple. Don't let any more Gidbos get close. Dang, she looks like a beast. Oh, there goes the chief. Sweet. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now and we're going to wipe all the Gidbos out at once. Follow me. Let's do it. Uh, so I still don't fully understand how her lightning thingy works. That time it worked, okay. Keep firing, come here, come here. I need more lightning power. Oof. There we go. She might just take a bit to recharge. Also, I feel like I should do this. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that definitely felt like something I was supposed to do. I've seen those things before in the depths. Oh, the lightning didn't go off. There we go. Did I get them all? Dude, her lightning range power is really cool. I guess this is the equivalent of Ar Arbosa's fury this time. Nice. Yeah, she just takes a second to recharge. Remember, use any elemental weapons to kill Gidbos, or you could use Regis Lightning. Yeah, okay, I figured it was any elemental. Thank you for letting me know, Pro. Well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Yeah, any element. But lightning seems like it's going to be most effective. Shall we head towards Gerudo Town? That That's Zelda? not Zelda. No, I'm still not convinced that's Zelda. Uh. Not convinced. Hey, look, a shrine. <laughs> uh oh. Is the lightning temple just gonna like appear in thin air? Or out of thin air? Gerudo Town is in danger. Oh wait, they're disappearing. It's okay, Gerudo Town's fine now. No need to worry. Zelda, wait! That that might be cause for worry. Zelda might be cause for worry. Just a little bit. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Oh, Gibdos. I've been saying it wrong. Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> get ready to play a little game that may seem familiar? All right, I'm ready. I'll meet you in town. All right, now we actually got to navigate towards the town. I thought that's where we were supposed to originally go. Here we go. All the way up. Uh, looks like it's about as high as we're getting. Let's get over here. We'll jump off of this. Dang, how hot is it in this freaking desert, man? It starts with a T and ends in E and it's two words? Uh, hang on. I'm assuming we're gonna come up and figure out what it is in a sec. I don't even think this is... This flame-resistant armor is not gonna help me. I need, uh... I need heat resistance. And I don't have that. I do have this, though. We'll take that. That's the best I'm gonna get. Oh god, this chasm again. <laughs> not the chasm! Oh boy, this is gonna be a tough one to climb. Okay, all right. No, 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 Link, 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 Link. It's okay, it's okay. Catch your breath. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We can totally make this. There we go. All right, we're good. I'm still just gonna like die of heat exhaustion in the desert though. Did I splash myself with water? What happens if I do that? There we go, I knew I had a splash fruit somewhere. Yeah, that does momentarily cool me. Let's go. Oh, true. I could just use the choo-choo jelly. You're right. You're right. Could have done that. What is this? The structure seems important. Like there's perhaps a Korok seed on it. Oh, and there's... What? Why oh, is there a random spring here? And a rocket. All right. We might, uh... We're going to take that rocket is what we're going to do. Just get a little rocket shield ready to go. I knew there'd be a Korok up here. We'll have to see how many I have next time we warp. I've been doing semi-decent with collecting them. Can you, uh, Tulin, can you come here? Oop. There we go. Oh, shoot. No, <laughs> I fell too fast. Dang it. All right, it's fine. We'll just get it on the ground. There we go. Got it. Did I tell you that I got all 152 shrines? I don't think you did. That's pretty impressive, bro. I have a large majority of them marked off on my map, but obviously I have not completed all of them. Uh, whatever this is, we're going to have to come back for it, but there's something there we can unlock. Let's, uh, let's get up in the air, shall we? There's Gerudo Town. Here we go. There's a bunch more of these things we need to, like, destroy with, uh, 
Riju's power, but I don't think I have Riju with me at the moment. The last time we had to like sneak into Gerudo Town, I do remember that. I don't think that's the case this time. I don't think they care. I think they got too much else to worry about. Oh shit, yeah, those things are like growing, growing in the town. There they are. What happened to their steps? What's up, Riju? I got two streams to mod tonight, as well as a birthday gift to take care of. Wow, you just, you pack full of stuff to do, Revered. <laughs> if you just want to lurk, uh, I don't, it's, it's fine by me. I don't think there's really too much to mod here, but I appreciate you being here. There's a Gimdo Hive, just like the one that appeared near the Karakara Bazaar. So all those little mushroom thingies are Gidbo Hives. So we got to take them down. Both the Hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time. But it's not only that one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. All right, that's easy. We can deal with them. Let's do it. There's that voice again. What could it be? Oh my goodness, it's almost like it's the Sage of Lightning. Come. I always say come at first. To where I am. So that's like, what, Urbosa's ancestor, I guess? Let's find who's calling out to us. All right, you go prepare for battle. I'll be here. I guess I, I think I have to talk to her again. Can I take the sword from the statue? Aw, oh, these look like cool weapons. I wanted them. There's also a shrine. You know what? Let's, uh, let's get the shrine above me just so we can warp back here when we need to. That'd be helpful. Oh, <laughs> okay. Now where I meant to warp into. Yikes. Anything here? No. The gift will take minimal time to take care of and Tay's not online yet. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I know this is not one of my normal stream days, but we're here. We be streaming. There, that was a perfect up warp. Wow. That worked well. Here we go. You know what? We're here. We might as well do it. I've gotten so in the habit of like picking up shrines and then just walking away because I'm waiting to do all the puzzles on stream. But let's do it. We're here. Why not? So I've got 161 Koroks. That's pretty impressive. I need to go talk to, to Hestu again, Hetsu, and expand some of my storage. I need more bows. Listen, listen, pro. I, I was not trying to, I was trying to get to the shrine and they said the shrine was above me. It just so happened that the, the bedroom was there as well. Oh wait, I can blow away the sand with this. I'm a genius! <laughs> yeah, this is, this is um, I like this shrine. That location was pretty sweet too, just right on top. Gee guys, I wonder what's in the chest. If only it were a key so we could progress to the next room. Oh my goodness, a small key. Would you look at that? How perfect. Friday man, can I tell you something about hearts and stamina? If it's that you cannot max out both at the same time, then I already know that. But if it's not that, sure. What would you like to tell me, bro? Uh, I think I need to bring that fan back. Woo! Don't crush me. I think I need more light to go into. Yeah, let's go get the fan. Let's go get that fan. Yeah, it's okay. I already knew that. I'll probably end up maxing out three wheels of stamina just because, you know, 38 hearts is probably more than enough. But having only, uh, having like a non-complete set of three wheels of stamina, I think that would bug me more. All right, so there's gotta be a light somewhere in here. Or a little opening, all right, that works. Oh geez, there's more in here. Okay, at least there's another fan. <laughs> you already maxed out stamina because you've been very confident in your combat abilities. I'm usually not. My Combat abilities have been getting a little bit better. I've actually been taking on a bunch of bosses in the depths. 
And I was thinking maybe if we finish the Lightning Temple today, uh, we can do a King Gliok fight. What is this? A fan guster weapon? What the frick? Okay. Um, wait, can I do this? Yeah, I can. Although that was not close enough. It seems like I actually need this weapon, so... Let's bring this for a sec. Here we go. Perfect! Look at that! That was easy. <laughs> I know the enemies well enough to handle them with uh, no damage taken, so that made me prioritize my stamina. So I actually, I did a bunch of Colosseum fights in the depths, and one of the Colosseum fights I did, the actual Colosseum here on the normal grounds, if you go underneath that, there's another Colosseum, and it is a freaking Lionel Colosseum. So I fought a regular Lionel, a blue one, black one, white one, and a silver Lionel. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. All right, I don't think I need this fan weapon anymore. I can't even, oh my God, I can't throw it. <laughs> I was just trying to throw it. So this room was bonus, which means I probably need to go this way. Um, I don't know, it's gonna be a little close. All right, no, we can make that. There we go. That was, that was not that close. One of the strongest fuse items in the game is the silver Lionel horn. You mean this? The silver Lionel saber horn, which I have two of and I'm probably going to save until I can dupe them. Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, a, that's a pretty cool one. What is my doing? There we go. All right, so we're looking for what? We need a light or something? Oh, I guess, yeah, there's our light source. There we go. That makes sense. And we have another mirror. So how the heck am I gonna direct this light? Obviously not straight down. That's that's uh that's not where we want to direct the light. No, I believe uh What, we want it like aiming that way? No? I would think. Actually, how do I get out of here? Where's the fan? Or do I even need the fan? I don't need the fan. Yeah, I'm gonna save those items for when I can duplicate some more of them. Oh, that is not where I wanted it. Uh, what the heck? How am I supposed to do this with two of them? I'm surprised this fan's still going. I forgot. I always forget you have uh, max power inside a uh, shrine. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't need it up here. Maybe I can just put it down here. Maybe that's maybe maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> that seems like it'll work a little bit better. Whoops, not like that. Can you can you cooperate, please? I right, uh no. Why are you aiming up? Aim down. You know what? It's good enough. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Watch this. I was putting it on the ground so I could uh, aim better with it over here. That is the wrong way. There we go. All right, got it. <laughs> I told you I'd make it work. It worked. It worked, didn't it? There we go. Not how you did it, but okay. How'd you do it? That it worked for me. <laughs> I knew I just had to get the light to touch it for like two seconds. 
Yeah, no, I did not get the angle just fine. Nah, nah. Nope. Just gotta get the light to hit it just right. You can cheese a lot of these shrines. It's very, very easy to cheese a lot of these shrines. You know what? I wonder if you could just, like, fire an arrow with some light attachment to it at that spot. Or just make something glow bright enough for an instant. I feel like that's how speedrunners are going to do it. Alright, back on track. We're going to the Lightning Temple. Hey, look! There's a dragon. And that is... Faroosh? I think that's Faroosh. We go. Your first room is done out of three rooms in the temple. Good luck. Good luck, decorating pro. All right, let's go fight. No, I'm ready to fight. I. Okay. I don't know what you want me to do, but I'm ready to fight. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take down those little mushroom gibdo cloud thingies. They're just gonna all take over the city. Oh, they even, they, look, they boarded up the stairs. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but we don't have time to discuss that right now. Cause here come the Gibdos. Oh my God, ew, they just like fall out of it. Yeah, those things are creepy as hell. One is gonna be my room with a portal inside and on top of the portal is my best. Your best what? One of the rooms is gonna be for your dogs, nice, nice. Can we not just like take them out before they enter the city? Oh God. Oh, on top of the portal is your bed. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you're getting auto-corrected left and right, man. They have the town surrounded. We got this, we got this. Give me your lightning abilities, we can do it. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Yeah, this feels very Age of Calamity with the group fighting and everything. Let's go, let's go. That didn't hit a single one of them. Can we do, uh, where's a key swing? I need a key swing! Where are my monster parts? That's not a monster part. Uh, there it is. That did not work at all. I'm surprised that actually didn't hurt me. Girl, can you, like, send your lightning, please? What the frick? I am just wasting arrows. Go! Wait, why didn't that work? Do I, I think I actually have to, like, defend. I don't think I can destroy the hives. All right, yeah, we gotta, let's prioritize the sides for a sec. Here we go. West gate, I am heading to the west gate. This would be a lot easier if I were just like up above everything. Oh, that missed. Wait, I can just hit him with choo-choo jelly, can I? Get fucked, let's go. Girl, I can't be in two places at once. Do you grab the Gerudo weapons? No, I do not have Gerudo weapons. I'm just doing this battle right now, but I was not able to destroy the hives. You should be able to? All right, let me try the North Hive again. I aimed right at the little, little pus sack thingy. That's not working. Flying enemies from the west gate hive. Time for a lightning strike or two. Yes, there we go. Perfect. All right, I guess it just takes multiple hits. Maybe that's it. Yay, more, uh, more new things. Gibdo wings. Oh, good. Didn't know they could fly. It has to be glowing. I hit it a couple times when it was glowing. At least I thought I did. Girl, make up your mind. You can't just stop mid-sentence. Oh, shit. 
They do have wings. Any more over here? No, we're good for a sec. All right. I thought I had hit it when it was glowing a couple times, but we'll try again. So yeah, I see that thing is glowing right now, so I should be able to hit that. Now it's not glowing. There we go. All right, got it. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Someone's in the center. Goodbye. Oh no, there's two of them. Let's go. All right, one more, one more. He's dead. Good. Yeah, I, don't, I just, I must have hit it when it was not glowing the first time. That's all. There we go. Got him. Who's left? Get out of here. Yo, they stabbed him. That is creepy as shit. I think it's just two left. I think it's just these dudes. No? I think we got him. Ah, oh, no, there's a couple more. All right, hang on. They're still crawling in. Honestly, just let him come to us. Makes my job easier. Two more. I lied. Four more. Three more. Ah, oh, where's my lightning? One more. And okay, my bow is gone. But so are you. Oh no, there's more. What is this? They just keep coming. Jesus, where did I get an old wooden bow from? That sucks. There we go. Got them all. <laughs> what a war cry. All right, Gerudo Town is protected. We still don't know where the voice was coming from though. We haven't like actually encountered the lightning temple. Oh? I'm incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit, but uh, now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town, mm. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe... Maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. Oops. And then there's the voice you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Time for some lore. Yeah, so we didn't get to come down here before. I don't think I've ever seen this. What are you doing? I'm destroying a box. Or at least I'm trying to. Now I'm destroying a box. I feel like this lady's about to fight me. Can you let me in, please? Uh, hello? I'm glad you're all right. I uh, would have been unacceptable for an important guest of Lady Riju, even a Vaux, to be injured. <laughs> okay, um, I don't think... There we go. It was like, why can I not pass? What do you have? Make good accessories. Oh, can I buy stuff from you? All right, so the missing owner. Leave all the side quests for later. I usually just pick up the side quests and, and run away, but let's see what she's got. Oh, oh, wait, this is my stuff. No, I don't want to sell. I was like, where did you get all these bugs and shit? No, what do you got? A ruby circlet. Oh, cold resistance, heat resistance, and amber earrings. Uh, gem that harnesses the power of the land, increased defense when equipped. Yeah, sure. We're just going to buy them all. Might as well. And these are... Are these head pieces or are these chest pieces? There we go. Oh my god, I'm almost dropping below 300,000. 
That's crazy. And a statue to pray to. Let's get some more stamina. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna buy out all the shops here, and then we will continue on our path. Yes, get rid of the gloom. No more gloom poison. Sweet. We're making our way to three full wheels. We'll be there soon. Meanwhile, I'm broke as hell in game and IRL. <laughs> Ever the life of a college student, broke in real life. Whoops. I did not mean to talk to you. I just want your choo choos. And, ooh, mushrooms. All right, sure. Why not? You got a... Is it only one? I, yeah, I think she only has one per. Whatever, it's fine. I take all the stuff I can get. That was weird. She, like, pause before talking to me. Cool. Who's following me around? You're a real vote. Yeah, I'm not one of you. I'm not a Gerudo. Are you telling the truth? I learned in the class that all vote like to lie, though. No, we don't lie. I don't lie. All right, so where am I heading? Where's that mural? There's the mural. There's a lot to explore down here, but I'd like to stay focused on the story. Red pillars and light. Oh, Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. I mean to strike something with lightning. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also uh, they were also using the shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. It sounds like when Ganondorf took over. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words remind me of this mural. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Well, it sounds like we have to go back to back with the throne, no? Are you sure you don't lie? Mm -hmm. Says the one who, was, who, who literally lied that he was invisible in my bean game matches yesterday. Yeah, pro, what was that? You said you were invisible in my Fall Guys matches? I couldn't even see you there. I thought you were the liar. Is this the throne? What's that? This is not the throne. Uh, this is the throne. It said back to back with it. I see pillars. What did it say? Standing back to back with the throne, witness the red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone. Well, let's go out towards those pillars. I have no idea if that's actually going to be part of it, but let's find out. I need some cold resistant armor now. That's how quickly things change here. Yeah, you did get into my games very, very, very much later. That's when I was on, like, uh, South American servers you were getting in, I think. Oh god, I see more Gibdos. Not the Gibdos! Oh, I was really hoping that would one-shot him. Alright, are these pillars red? That's the question. Uh, it... Looks like they might be. Hello? Hello? Will you bring me up? There we go. I can't wait to clear the temple so I can find and obliterate Moldugas. Yeah, right? Or even just like fighting them underground too, the, the boss refights. Oh, that... That kind of worked a little bit. Hang on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look what I did. Oh, unite the pillars in light. There we go. Okay. All right. So do we need to follow the light? Because I don't think I can rotate this. 
Wait, wait. I was exploring the desert ever so slightly, just like I was picking up shrines I could see. And I saw on the top of these things, maybe not this one, but on some of them, they could rotate. Okay, so not, not on this one. This might have a Korok though. No Korok. I guess I just have to follow the light then. Um, unite the pillars and light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. I guess, I don't know if I have to go back and talk to her. I want to follow the light though. I'm going to follow the light. See what I can find. Their jawbones are apparently one of the strongest fuses in the game. Oh, these, I have Gidbo bones, they're 40. Yeah, they're pretty good. Mon some of the monster parts are really, really good for fusing. Oh, guess what I fought earlier today? I fought a uh, Gloom King Gleok. Yeah, first shot too. I've been getting a lot better at the combat. Oh, I see more pillars. That's promising. Yeah, that was a fun fight. That was a fun one. Really wasn't that bad once you know the strategy for him. All right, um, there is not another light source here, but I do see this turnstile over here. So I have a feeling that has something to do with it. Can I, uh, can I up warp? Oh, how beautiful. Sometimes these structures are just like barely too high for you to up warp to. So if I do this, will this, eh, yes, it raises it. All right, look at that. Look at that. I wonder if there's anything underneath that structure that it's exposing. And we are in place. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Just really quickly see, did anything open up here that is worth investigating? Well, uh, I can up warp on this, so that's nice. but it doesn't look like anything else opened up. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, so it looks like that light is aiming back at it now. Let's let's go to the next one and see if there's anything else I have to do there. But we definitely made some good progress. Hopefully I do not encounter one of those sand creatures. You know, I'm fine with fighting them once the sand shroud is gone, but the sand shroud is not gone right now, so I would rather not. Do I have, uh, how many, how many, sp I'm running low on springs. I do have a bunch of rockets right now. Let's take out a rocket real quick. It's just nice to be above the sand shroud a little bit. Just a little bit. Like half a second. It's fine, this is at least, this will at least get us a lot closer. Just trying to speed run it, you know? I'm always trying to play speedy. And we got this over here. Look, there's so many arrows sitting on the ground. What the heck? They also have arrows and weapons sticking into them, so... I really don't like these creatures. Alright, this was the one that had it on top. I knew there was something on top. Um, oh, but I can't turn it. Right, right, right. Okay, hang on. What's down here? Oh, we got platforms. All righty, all righty. I see what we're doing here. That's too high. Uh, you know what? Just bring it down all the way. Actually, can I just do this? Bear with me for a sec. We're gonna get both these working, and I might only need one of these, honestly. But I can do this. Actually, I can just do this. There we go. Easiest way to lift the materials up, right? I'm pretty sure I should only need the one. Close enough. 
<laughs> I love how the height of this thing is just barely in and out of the sand shroud. Ah, uh, this is not gonna work. Come here, you. Now it'll work. There we go. That's please perfect. And now, should be able to rotate it no problem. There we go. See, I only needed one. And I'm dying of heat exhaustion very slowly, but this should be it. We Now we have a triangle of pillars. So the lightning stone or whatever it was should make itself available now. It should, should uh, reveal itself. There you go. We've made the triangle. Is there a piece of the Triforce we're gonna find? Of course it's dead center in the triangle. All right, read you. I think I know where we need to go now. Um, I think it's pretty obvious where we need to go. I've seen that symbol before. I saw that in a cave somewhere. All right, whatever we need to do with that is going to be very helpful for later on. Um, am I just? Oh, I guess I'm just going straight there. All right, cool. Well, let's do it. That was a cool puzzle. I like that little uh, light adjustment puzzle. Should be somewhere straight ahead. Up there, yeah, there it is, there it is. Can you not die of heat exhaustion, please? Please. What did I have on? Oh, I had these, these don't help though. Well, I'm, t I need better heat resistant armor. No, it's the fake Zelda. God dang it. Actually, maybe it's not fake Zelda because we just learned last stream that Zelda turned herself into a dragon. So I actually don't know what that Zelda is. Hmm. Did you see that link? It's Zelda. Not anymore. She's gone. All right, so obviously I need to strike this with her lightning. Hmm. It cannot be a coincidence that we've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another time. Mm -hmm. Did you solve the mural's riddle uh, and cause this to appear? I'm impressed. If I remember correctly, the mural said, unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Maybe my lightning strike is a key. Yes it is, yes it is. Let's go! Alright, so I know another place on the map I need to use that. And we will definitely be going there later. I think we found the lightning temple, y'all. Wow! The desert needed something like this. This is magnificent. Of course, all the Gibdos are coming from there. Look at those ugly purple pus sacks. Let's get rid of them. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Riju's power of lightning. When Riju's aura is charged, you can call on her for a lightning strike. Well, shall we? I'd like to get out of the desert heat as fast as possible. Do I, do, do I actually need to call on her? God dang it, I gotta wait for her to run all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta wait. The Lightning Temple, the mural's myth risen from the sands. This is uh, honestly really, really dope. This looks awesome. Looks big. Come here, please. Lightning, let's go. Oh, what, hello? You gonna send your lightning or what? We have to be within the vicinity of it, is that what? 
All right, so we also have to be within the vicinity of it. Got it. That doesn't look good. Oh my god. Are we fighting like the king of the, the Gibdos? Whoa, its antenna look really cool. The Queen Gibdo, good, good. I didn't expect to take on the boss at the beginning of the temple, but alrighty then. You don't like this boss, bro? They're annoying. They look like they're gonna be tough. Oh, he's stirring up the sand trap. It must be responsible for all this. Come on, let's take it down together. Queen Gibdo is new to this game. Wait, this is the first boss that's new? Oh man. I we thought all of them were throwbacks. Ready. Wait, no, no, no. I, eye shots, please. I need that, I need that headshot. I need that headshot. Stand still. There we go. Ooh, no. All right, then uh, how about your lightning strike for me? Oh, I gotta be close enough for the lightning strike. God damn it. There we go. There we go. I should have some uh, elemental weapons on me. Yeah, how about an Igneo Talus heart? Igneo Talus hammer. That that sounds pretty good. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, I don't like that. I need you. I need you. Where are you? Come here. Thank you. Good God. All right, it's fine. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna use choo choo jellies. We're gonna attack on our own. That did nothing to stop this beast. Stay still. On your guard. Does it keep like changing? I don't know. It looks weird. That's not what I wanted, but okay. Oh, you know what? That elemental attack actually worked. Come here. Come here. God dang it. Can you make a gust of wind for me again? Wait, this is amazing. I, I love you, Nobo. All right, how about this? Can you like get stunned or something? That would be amazing. Let's, let's freeze you. I don't think the freeze hit. Come here! Stand still! Oh, my bow broke. I'm to, dude, I need more bows. I'm running so low on bow attacks. This is a tough fight. Here we go. All right, I did something. Next phase of the fight. Oh, Mukturok's new too. Right, right, right. I forgot Mukturok is new. There are other enemies throughout the franchise that resemble the Gibdos, but they're just not too close. Okay. All right. There's definitely some inspiration from previous games. Oh, okay, bye. See you after the temple. Hmm. You gotta use Regis lightning twice to knock it down. All right, good to know. Thank you, Pro, thank you. It fled up toward the roof. Maybe there's some way to go up after it. Hmm. Let's get inside. Well, it would be nice if I could get rid of these things again. Oh, it's no longer unbearable heat. Isn't that nice? It's because it's nighttime. Actually, it's not nighttime. Can, can you work? God, I waste so many arrows on this. Here we go. Come here. It's like her charge doesn't work at first. There we go. There we go, one more. One more, and we'll get inside. I hate how long her thing takes to charge up. It's kind of annoying. Here we go, lightning temple floor number one.
We're gonna save my good weapons for later. What is this? A Korok frond? What? Who put this on the wall? Look at the map. Oh my god, there's seven floors! Oh my god! There's so much! Good god. I have so many flame emitters. You know, I should really use them for something, but I don't. I just never use them. Maybe I'll build a cool Zonai machine. Uh, are we... Are we trapped? Can I just go up a floor? Yeah, well, you know what? We're gonna go up a floor. That works. I think I just ditched Riju. <laughs> when I saw there were seven floors, that's where I decided to stop playing. Good, good. Oh, apparently uh, it doesn't like me warping out like that. Try that again. All right, there's gotta be something else we can do in here. Uh, we could, oh, you know what? I could just take one of these. And that's how I can get rid of all the sand. Yeah, look at that, there we go. Open the door. I forgot, we're like in dungeon mode now. It's full of puzzles. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's keep moving. Let's go. Gotta make sure there's nothing above, you know? We're going down to the basement. We're, I guess that's where we're starting from. We're starting this journey in the basement. Then we gotta go all the way up seven floors. Whoa. It is dark and mysterious down here. This is gonna burn my leaf, isn't it? Yeah, no, I don't want that. Can I put something else on fire? Do I have anything I can put on fire? No? All right, it's fine. Wait, I might have something. I might have a glow dish. Shoot, I think I ate them all. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, forget I said anything. <laughs> Let's just keep going. What do we got back here, huh? Oh, hello. You want some uh, elemental damage? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Bye. Gonna be back, I'm grabbing dinner, sounds good. I'll be here revered, enjoy your dinner. Anything else worth grabbing in this room? Ooh, would you look at that? A Gerudo Claymore, I'll take that. Cool. All right, let's keep going through the temple. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, that scared me. What's down there? Is that a, is that a death room? Actually, I don't know what is down there. Don't touch me. There we go. Stupid electric keys. What is this? Gerudo bow? Oh, Gerudo scimitar. I don't think I need that. <laughs> okay. That's not where I was trying to get to. Let's try that again. I love when I up warp to a completely useless area. <laughs> These flames make it impossible to go further. Do they now? Do they now? Uh, can you freeze, please? Thank you. Gotta use elemental attacks. Gotta use elemental attacks. Okay, so I might have a shield that can block this. Uh, I don't know. I don't trust the barricade shield. I feel like it's gonna burn. Yeah, it's definitely gonna burn. Okay, all right, it's fine, it's fine. We didn't need it anyway, we can just run through. And watch, now the flame emitters are off. Wow, who could have guessed that? <laughs> hey. So, wow, the basement goes all the way around. So yeah, it looks like we definitely have to go... 
from the basement. So we're going this way. Right, this is the way we're going. The stairs will take us back up to the main lobby. All right, so yeah, we're getting to the main area. Now we can move ahead. Wow, yeah, it kind of would be nice with a torch in here. Oh my god. Looks like we're stuck again. Did not expect that. Let's see what's back here. Wait, is that the way I'm going? That's the way I need to go. Hang on. What's down here? Anything? Nothing? All right, sure. Oh, this way, this way, this way. All right, we're good. We're good. No more rolling balls. Oh, nice. There's a gate. <laughs> Ain't that sweet. The fireball stopped. I'm on my way, Link. He's dead. It's actually pretty easy to kill these Gibdos. As long as you have an elemental weapon, you're fine. You know what I do have that I haven't used? We have giant bright bloom seeds. That'll make it a little... No, that really did not make it that much easier to see in here. Really didn't. Um, Can I use you to destroy this? Wait, where is she? Come here. Stand still. Oh my god. Yeah, all right. I didn't think that would work because it's not glowing right now. Worth a shot. We are... Okay, I can head down. There's bonus stuff down here. Statues. Here we go. What do we got back here? Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a chest. Okay. You know what you're going to do next after you're done decorating your house? What are you going to do next, pro? I really hope we can get through all seven floors tonight. <laughs> That's what I hope. Let's just, I guess let's just replace this shield. It's going to break anyway. And right, now we got to play the game. I got to make it out safely. That did not work. Whatever. I made it out. It wasn't safely, but I made it out. Oh, gee, more Gibdos. Oh, maybe now I can destroy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can destroy it. And boop. No, it's not glowing. Ah, oh, shit. Where'd she go? Come here, lady. I need your powers again. Good God. There's too many things going on at once. It's glowing. It's glowing. Let's go. I broke my bow. Shoot. I don't want to waste my multi-shot bows. I have this Demon King's bow, which is I have yet to use, but it looks dope. Uh, let me just kill them. Let's not waste more arrows. I don't want to break more of my bows. Alright, I think we got everything we were coming down here for. There we go. There's more bows. Yeah, I need as many of those as I can find, really. After you're done decorating your house, you're going to build a really fancy bridge because you put your temple on an island and uh, around land. So the easiest way to get to my house uh, to get a horse to my temple is to use a bridge. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, if you're making a stable for all your horses, you should definitely make a bridge so they can get there. Whoa, why is it so zoomed in? Oh my god. The Gerudo made bow is a popular fine ornamentation along its limbs designed for hunting and um, strike distant targets. Wow. Talk about aiming down sights. That's crazy. Damn. What? That thing just killed me. Oh my god. To be fair, I should have eaten something like a long time ago, but Jesus. That thing can pack a punch. Let's try that again. Let's uh, let's eat something, you know. Let's let's try that first.
Oh, wait, that's water. I don't want water. I want lightning. Wow, yeah, that's really not doing much. What is this thing? Oh, that's why. It's a Captain Construct 4. This is the first of these I've seen. No wonder it's so strong. That did not work. Wow, even that didn't fully damage him. I was kind of expecting more from that. Jesus. Too strong, man, too strong. What's he doing? Bro, just like fused with a pot. Wait, he actually did fuse with a pot. That's hilarious. Almost got him. Ooh, that was a nice dodge. There we go. Yeah, geez, what a tough, what a tough dude. Captain Construct Fourhorn, 35 fuse power. Not bad, not bad. That was a little tough. What do we have here? Wait, what? I, I can't clear it out. I need a, uh, do I still have the leaf? I do still have the leaf. Oh no, it's just another one of these dudes. God dang it. Ah, I can keep knocking him over. That's great. Bye-bye. All right, we got a mirror over here. Is there anything else? I think we just needed the mirror and the light, and there's a little bonus thingy in the wall here. Can't leave any of the goody treasures behind, you know? Uh-oh. That's not good. I think we set off a booby trap. Quick shot. Oh, nice. Oh, God, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, what did I just find down here? Wait, I can move this whole platform? Hello? What even? I have an idea. Oh, I have a great idea. Yes, watch this. Damn it, that did not work. <laughs> Wait, I totally thought that would work. Hang on. No, he just falls off it. All right, that doesn't work. Shoot. Maybe I should not have done that. That might work. Yeah, all right, that works. <laughs> oh, a Gerudo Spear. Nice. Let's, uh... Is it stronger than this? It is not. Is it stronger than this? Oh god, the Gerudo Spear is not that great. All right, you know what? We're gonna leave the Gerudo Spear. I don't need it. I don't need it! There was more up here, though. Uh, at least I thought there was. There's more mirrors. I doubt I need any more mirrors, though. I think I just need the one in here. Right like that. There we go. See, the light puzzles are easy. You don't even have to have it set up perfectly. You just gotta hold it there for a couple seconds. Alright, so this should actually take us to the main floor now. This is like... The, the part of the temple we can warp back to. Yes, here we go. Here we go. This is the part where it should tell us there's X amount of keys you gotta unlock or, you know, th those things. Lightning sources I need to strike. Link, I'm certain that the mural we saw in town was trying to guide us here. And I believe we'll also find whoever that voice we've been hearing belongs to. Well, we should hear that voice like right now. Or after I do this, we should hear it. 
We return with popcorn chicken. Welcome back. Enjoy your popcorn chicken. I just got to the heart of the temple. We should hear the voice again. Oh, look at that. We got some power. We got electricity. Well, we almost had electricity. Oh, I wonder if that's an elevator that takes us to the seventh floor. Let's see. Daughter, daughter of the Garuda. This platform connects to the very top of this temple. Use your power to charge the four batteries and it will function once more. Okay, four batteries. Cool. I told you it was an elevator. So what floor, let's see what floor the batteries are on. I heard the voice very clearly just now. It's calling to me. It said that I should use my power to charge the four batteries. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple. And the voice that has been speaking to us said that the platform should be able to take us all the way up there. If that's true, we should corner the monster at the top. We might also figure out who is talking to us and why. Okay, Link, we need to get to the very top. To start, we should do what the mysterious voice suggested and try to find those four battery devices. There's a cool Easter egg with the Divine Beast helmets. I think I, oh, you know what? I got one of them. I found one of them. Um, What do I have? Varudania? There you go. I got the Varudania Divine Helm. That's pretty cool. I don't think we need to worry about flame resistance stuff now, so I'm going to put on my... Uh, I'm gonna put on my attack up armor. Okay, so floors. We got one right here on the first floor, one on the second floor, one on the third, and one on the fourth. So fifth and sixth floors, not sure what they're used for. Here's the first floor. Can I move any of these blocks in the wall? Oh, look at that. Looky, looky. They looked in, out of place. I instantly knew I'd be able to move them. Alright, that's good enough. Well, that was easy. I found the first one. I just need her to come over to me. Where is she? Uh, hello? Where did Riju go? There she is. Come here. Yeah, that was an easy puzzle for this first one. That, that, that was pretty easy. Here we go. First battery charged. Will it open up that gate now or not? Nah? So this is one of the batteries. It seems to have absorbed my lightning well enough. Yes, it has. All right, cool. Up to the second floor we go. That was, yeah, a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. But okay, it just, it looked very out of place on the wall there. It seems we have an updraft. Wow, it's just a lot of real easy things to uncover. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look, this brings us all the way up. Oh, yeah, you're gonna leave the fighting area to me, huh? I don't even know where the- Oh, who's hitting me? Leave me alone! What the freak, dude? Yeah, get wrecked. No one was even talking to you. Wear the Varudani mask and look at Yunobo. So the mask thing works for every sage? Okay, hang on, I'll try that. Varudania, and look at Yunobo. Oh, what? That's so cool! That's really cool. So does it give him like an extra boost in power, I wonder? That's really dope. Thanks for telling me about that, bro. I never would have known. Uh, looks like we have... Oh, I can move this whole thing? Oh, I can shift it. All right, all right. We got a light puzzle here again. I'm not sure how that's going to get started, but what floor am I on? I'm on the fifth? I wanted to see what was on the sixth. But I'm not sure how I even enter what the sixth is. Maybe we should just go back down to the second. No, let's just go back down. Start back on the second floor, shall we? Don't think it gives a boost. Alright, it's just a visual thing, but it works on every sage, so that's cool. My god, these construct beasts are everywhere! Don't you fire at me! <laughs> Ow. 
Ow, I'm trying to change weapons here. Actually, let's save that. Use this. There we go. That's better. A little more well equipped for this fight. Alright, who keeps firing these electric charges at me? Good god, man. Take a chill pill. And get wrecked. Nice. Well, that was fun. Now, how do we get in here? Uh, it looks like we have to fall down. So I think, yeah, I, I figured this is what we were gonna have to do on the sixth floor. I think we have to fall all the way down into this area. So can't do that right now. Let's head up to the third floor. Will it buff anything? That's the question uh, that will that will be answered eventually by Croton, YouTuber Croton, YouTuber who created stats of the kingdom. Oh my god. He revealed something insane to me. Croton made a video recently which explained that spears do, don't do as much damage as they list, and two-handed weapons are act actually do a little more damage than they list. That's weird. Why wouldn't they just do what they're listed as? Why can't things be simple? Oh, that looks like a light source target. Let's go up another floor. The margin is ridiculous, really? Oh my god. I mean, I don't often use spears anyway, so it's a good thing I'll, I'll know to avoid them now. Spears only do two-thirds of the number listed. Yeah, that is absurd. I'm sorry. That's kind of ridiculous. Just do what it's listed as. Hey, wait, there's nothing even here. Hang on. Oh, yeah, so it's, there, there's doorways here, but I cannot open them because I need light. Or maybe do I just need a lightning strike then? No, that needs light. That definitely needs light. Well, what do we have over here, huh? I tried jumping out of the way. But where are you facing? All right, what do we got here? We got another, we got another one of these rotating thingies. Alrighty. God dang it, I just picked up a flame emitter spear. How useless. Hey, there's our light source. I knew he was missing something. Um, all right, now I just need to line these two up. There we go. That seems pretty lined up to me. All right, so uh, this should this should start to unlock stuff for us now. Let's see it in action. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh god, and the statue's moving. Okay, uh, so that'll hit that statue next. We just gotta wait for it to rotate. This is progress. We're getting there. Two-handed items do 5% more. That's so weird. That's just weird. At least I'm getting semi-better at the combat, though. What did that unlock? Is that a switch for us? Yeah, that's a switch. I'm liking these light puzzles. They're, they're honestly a lot of fun. Okay, perfect. Now we can access back here, which brings us to the one on the fourth floor. Oh God. Going to be a problem. <coughs> is it now? Is it going to be a problem? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's just gonna permanently stay like that because it hasn't. Okay. I see. This is this is fine. This is fine. Here we go. Does this turn him off? Oh, thank God. Hey, the 
trap is disabled. We can get past now. Do just leave that there. Perfect. Nothing else in the wall. Nope. Which way do we need to go? Um, this is the optional way it looks like. So let's go over here. Whoops! There goes my sword. <laughs> I have a couple of, like, really good weapons that I try and save for some good fights. Oh, you have a shield, sir. Let's go. Yeah, so I have one weapon in my inventory right now that does, like, 75 damage. And I would very much like to save that one. Can I really not carry any more bows? I really need to upgrade my bow storage. I am lacking severely in bow storage. All right, what do we have here? We have a closed off light source, it seems. And another mirror hidden in the sand. Yes, I do have the master sword. We got that on Saturday, bro. Oh my God, that sequence was so amazing. We did get the master sword. Stakes over here too. Um, what do I do with this? I noticed there was a hole in the floor here. There's a bunch of stakes. Is there just, is there not something I can move on this? Oh, I need to bring it down here. All right, hang on. Can I like, oh, I don't, hang on. There, there, there's, there's another one of these down here. I thought I had to like bring the mirror I saw up there all the way down here. I think I just need to light this up, but it's not gonna work because it's rotating too quickly. All right, that worked. I'm kind of shocked that worked, but it did. And I don't need to hold that there. Yeah, that just stays open permanently. Okay, so that's that's good, that's helpful. Was there anything else down here? I guess it doesn't look like it. Nice. You missed it because you were at a friend's house. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to go back and watch the stream, they are all still available. Uh, they should all be on Twitch and eventually they'll be on YouTube. Oh God, I fell down again. <laughs> to recenter an item with Ultra Hand, press ZL. Oh, I was not aware of that. That's helpful. That's helpful. Okay, so we need this to rotate out of the way. There we go. Let's go. We unlock key number two or battery number two. Yes, I think he meant make it upright, revered. Ooh. There we go. That's two batteries charged. Two more left, Link. All right, so we finished this one. I guess we need to redirect light in the main room again. Yeah, I can try that with an item. Hang on. Next time there's an item I can grab that's uh, within the vicinity we're using, we'll do that. Let's see though, is there another offshoot? Oh, there's something over here. Don't know what that is, but I don't know if there's another light source I can aim anywhere. I think we need one up above, right? Not down below. Hang on. No, we do need one down here. Okay. Is there one we can get down here? Or do I just need to aim that light source? I don't even know. Yo, Aiden, welcome back to the dojo. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, we'll test that out when I get another item that I can rotate. So we've been in there. We can't do anything there. Um... I guess I want to go back up to the fourth floor and check something. I'm doing well, Aiden. I'm enjoying going through the Lightning Temple right now in Tears of the Kingdom. It didn't look like there was an opening over here. I mean, there's obviously something behind this, but it's not connected. Bro, can you climb? Oh my god. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, um, so that's not the way we're heading. 
We do still have this light source here, though. We've got to use this for something else. I just, uh, I don't know where I'm getting different mirrors to aim with it. There's this, oh yeah, there's these up here too, but I can't take these off. These are, these are attached to the statue. But if I could aim it up at this, that would work. I just don't know how. I don't know how. Mm, let's see if there's a mirror back in here I could use. Yeah, maybe I think we're just supposed to take the mirror from here. I think that's what they intend on you doing. Let's try that thing. Yeah, the, the, the thing over there, you know, let's try that. Let's try it. There we go. And can I, can I aim it up like this? No, it doesn't, it doesn't stay like that. Oh, recentering the mirror. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, so it's not, it's just when it's at a weird tilt. It just bring, yeah, so there's, there's one home position it brings it back to. It's only if it's on a weird tilt like that. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so uh, if I could like, where am I trying to aim this right now? There's one down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had it on it for a second. Let's try again. I'm gonna cheese it, this is gonna work. This is totally gonna work. I just need the light to turn back on. There we go. Um, Almost, there it is. Okay, all right, I have it in the right position. We just gotta wait, we just gotta wait. Bro didn't lie. It kind of recenters it a little bit. Let's go, got it. Wow, the light was just barely touching it too. All right, there's a couple more of these I think we can hit, right? Well, there's the ones up there. I pff, no clue how I'm supposed to be using those, but I thought there was another one of those light sources I could hit. Is there not? I guess there wasn't. Oh wait, can I just go straight up with it? Shit. The light has a stand? No, I know the light has a stand, but it, then it only points one direction. I can't tilt it. It won't stay like that. Although I was thinking if I point it straight up, it does not hit a statue. All right, whatever. Let's just go in the place I opened up. Here we go. Sweet. Oh, there's another one of these things. God dang it. Where is Riju when you need her? She just appeared. Where is she? I need, yes, light up. Perfect. Amazing. Please don't touch me. Uh, I need a better weapon. Wow, are you kidding me? The thing one shot me? Bro, I was just trying to get the flurry. A Captain Four. Yeah, this is the second Captain Four we've encountered. Good God. Yeah, no, I know, I know. We just encountered one before. I had to take a picture of it because it actually wasn't in my compendium yet. This is the first time I've encountered them. Of course, I got to do that again. Where is Riju? Oh, perfect. All right, uh, oh, that is not a gust of wind. That is, that is light. Thought that was a gust of wind for a second. Bro, I need you to like, I need you to leave me alone for a little bit. Ow! 
I can't even see him. This is so bad. Hang on. Yo, what's up, Construct, dude? Wait, I'm inside of him. <laughs> That's great. Whoops. Didn't mean to turn the platform off, but that happened. That happened. I'm just buying the compendium pictures. Yeah, no, I will as well. I was just, I took a picture because I was like, what is this thing? It just one shot me. How is it this powerful? And then I realized it's because I haven't encountered it before. Well, almost got him. There we go. And then there he is. I can't aim at him. No, I fell. I don't think he likes the flames very much. He can't seem to stand back up. One more hit. Goodbye. Get wrecked. Okay, so we've got some more light in here. Where are we directing this light? That is the question. I actually, uh, I'm not sure. What do we got up here? Oh, look at that! A light source! That seems like where we need to bring it. Okay, I know what we need to do. Hang on, give me that strong construct bow. Oh, there's no way I don't have one. Yo, welcome back! Welcome back, bro! I guess it is not worth taking this bow on the floor. All right. Let's make a flying machine, shall we? Shall we? Actually, I guess I could just like throw one of these up there. Hey, hello, can I move you? It was odd. Hang on. Let's do this in the right order. I love solving these puzzles, they're so much fun. So I'm gonna chain these all the way up until we have the, uh, whatchamacallit. Until we have the mirror right where it needs to be. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to reach it. All right, hang on, this is fine. Because now we can reach it. Oh, I thought it fell for a second. <laughs> yeah, the, the recentering doesn't work as well as you'd think it would. Let's go! I wasn't even facing it and it worked. Nice. Alrighty, that's gonna be key number three out of four. Not sure if I fully or half cheesed my way to this one, but it worked. My lady. Or, oh, there she is. Just falling out of nowhere. Fantastic. It's so nice that lightning strike doesn't affect me because every time I do it, I think I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, only one. one more battery. We got this. We gotta find a way, like, actually up to the sixth floor now. Alright, how are we going to get up there? Obviously, we still don't really know what to do with these, uh... These up here, I figured this was gonna be to open up the room we just went to, though. There's gotta be another one we're missing, though. Some, oh, hang on, hang on. We got light coming out of here now. What is this? What is this? I completely missed this room. Wait, yeah, I haven't been to this room at all. Hang on.
Oh no, my flame Gliok blade. Uh, okay, so I think we can leave those. I'll take another. I'll take another uh, mirror just in case. But the one that's in here, we can definitely leave. I'm gonna have a special secret area that I don't think anyone would find. And yes, the entrance is gonna be sick AF. Oh, pro! Now, if I ever join the server, I'm gonna have to try and find it. All right, so we can just maneuver these wherever we need now. Watch, this is gonna be for the the puzzle we already solved. I guarantee that's what's gonna happen. Oh, and there's one up there. That's what we need to hit. That's the one we need to hit. Okay. All right, we know our goal now. Uh, this one's not moving. Go away, sand. There we go. All right, let's chain them together. Oh, that's not hitting. One more. One more. Let's go! The light again was just barely touching it. There's gonna be many secret entrances. I love that, bro. I love that. Do I have to get all the way up there? I do have to get all the way up there. Alrighty, gust of wind it is. Whee! Good enough. Alright, this should bring us to the last battery. I think we are coming up on the rest of that fight with the Queen uh, Gibdo, whatever the heck it was called. Right, right, we gotta get through the flames, that's what this was. It's a dropper map. It's just like Minecraft. There we go. Let's open up the door. Let's get our Lady Riju, wherever the heck she is. And let's charge up that battery. Let's go. Lightning Temple solved. I think we are ready to activate the, the elevator. Let's go. Mechanism in the center. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No time to waste. I gotta get some of my good weapons out. We'll start with the Flux Core 2 Smasher. Here we go. Up to the seventh floor. Whoa. You can definitely tell it's activated. Link, I think this platform is about to move. I was expecting it to just like shoot off the ground as soon as she finished talking. Yeah, that was not the speed I thought it was going to be moving at. <laughs> I was expecting much faster. There we go, up to the roof. Good, there's more pus sacks that we need to break. Something's shining over there. Could it be the tier? Oh, that's the Lightning Sage tier, all right. I know a tier when I see one. Oh no, there's only one that's glowing. We have to take the one out in the center first. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of light sources, though. That will be interesting for the fight. All right, well, let's do it. I'll stick with my, let's go Mighty Construct, though. Here we go. Yeah, her thing takes so long to like charge out. There we go. All righty, it's battle time. God, that thing is terrifying. As far as like the boss design goes, this looks pretty scary looking. So what's the deal here? Am I already at half health or is it a brand new fight and she's fully healed? Yeah, full health, it's a brand new fight. All right, let's do it then, let's do it. I did not mean to sort like that. Where's my topaz? Whoa, 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 where are you going? You cannot be that close to me when I try and hit you with this. <sighs> My topaz arrow hit the tornado and killed me. I gotta be prepared. Whenever the tornadoes come out, I cannot attack through them. Cannot shoot through the tornadoes, yes. We know that now. Link died, man, Link, Link's gone. He left the building. Thank God that hit. What the heck? That is not the element I wanted. 
They really, oh my God, the tornado hit her and it wore off. Girl, send your lightning. Son of a bitch. Got him. Come on, swing your weapon. God dang it. <laughs> it sucks that you can barely do like any damage unless it's on the ground. Just because the physical attacks don't do anything. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good enough. I'm fine. This fight was a pain in the ass. I got it though. We got it. It's okay. Thank God that hit. No, no, he's not down. Oh God. I love using Inobo's attack. It's great. Got him. Or her. Got her. I think we're halfway through the fight now. All right, we can destroy the spores on the sides now. We need all of the light we can get in here. We need the light to come down. Do I have to use her abilities? Uh, yes, I do. Please, please recharge. Please recharge your abilities. Ow, what is touching me? Oh my goodness. Jesus, really? Let me fire. I don't like this. There's so many of them near me. I need y'all to back the fuck up. Oh God, there's one chasing me on the ground. Ew, go away. Shit, <laughs> that one was a little too close to me. Yeah, I do not like the beast we're fighting. This is this is a gross fight. I mean, not, not saying it's a bad fight. Like, I'm just disturbed is all I'm saying. Stay away, oh my God. Where are you, Riju? Come here. And ready, go. All right, that's two down. Oh my God, they're still just crawling everywhere. This is so gross. This is so gross. You're gonna make me run out of choo-choo. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 Come here. One more, one more. I feel like I just need to get that thing into the light. No? Please recharge, Riju, recharge. There we go. Alright, I just got hit, but they're all taken down. We have our four pillars of light now. We should be okay. It's so nice having an overabundance of apples. And just spam eat them. The creature that the Gibdos were likely inspired by were the scariest type of creatures throughout the franchise. Um, they meant for this to be disturbing and scary. Yeah, well, they definitely pulled it off. They definitely pulled it off. Uh, I need to get you down. So let's, uh, let's take a topaz to the face. That worked so well. No, you don't. Uh-uh. Not with the tornadoes. Not today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Elemental damage. Elemental damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get this queen out of here, baby. <laughs> No, my igneous heart wore off. Where are you running, Link? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? He was running the complete opposite direction of where I was pushing. Get up, get up. I don't even know what we were supposed to use the light for, but I'm gonna kill the queen without it. Oh my god, you're too close. Ooh, that would've killed me. One more hit. Oh God, not the tornado wall. Please no. Goodbye. Let's go! I didn't even need to blind it. 
But whatever the light pillars were for, we did not need. <laughs> yeah, I didn't use the light at all. Let's chill. We did it. We haven't even seen the tier. It's like completely blocked behind that wall there. Yes, another heart container. Let's go. That is my, what, 21st heart? I think we're on our second row now. Then you gotta, gotta find the Moldugas. Oh, they're gonna be everywhere in the desert. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Time for some lore. Uh, not at the moment. I'm not, I don't want to go straight for broken weapons. I do have something else in mind since, uh, we do have another hour, which is really nice. What is that? What could it be? Is this full cutscene? Yeah, this is a full cutscene. So who's the sage that we're talking to? I'm assuming this is one of Urbosa's ancestors. Riju, beloved daughter of the Gerudo. Uh, I know that voice. I don't. You are the one who's been talking all this time. Oh, well, yeah, we knew that. <laughs> yes, your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Gerudo. The demon king is responsible for sending the monster that caused the sand shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. I feel like we're getting close My to the Demon King stone. fight. Demon King? Secret stone? <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for the congrats on the 21st Don't heart. Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. This the is one of the last memories we have to unlock. During the imprisonment. I think this is going to be really, really important. Long, long ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young. Look, it's demise. A great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the innocent and sought the destruction of Hyrule. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We face the Demon King, but only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. I wonder if we're going to make Ganon at the end, like, eat the tear that he has and turn into a dragon like Zelda did. Strikes, I called down. King Raru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning war. All the same dialogue for each sage, just different perspectives. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Because it's the final battle. They're just giving their perspective on it. And then she comes to each of the sages. Yeah. The sage of time came to visit me. Link will need your help in the future. Please lend him your power. What she says to everyone. The magic restraining the demon king will eventually be undone. When that time comes, see, you must help Link. help Link. Told you. He's a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power, the Gerudo's control of lightning. 
The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. Yeah, the dialogue's literally like basically one for one from each different sage. <laughs> We are responsible for his very existence. Yeah, I would agree, bro. I would agree. We must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. And that Riju has. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. Sweet. We did all the temples. And now I have told you all I can of the imprisoning war and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town, but the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the Swordsman, Link. Lend me your power, Riju! So I think there actually might be a fifth temple that we have not so done, but the regional phenomena only had four. By your side. <laughs> we will fight together. My destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down the so-called demon king. I guess it's time to claim my destiny. You know what I really want? I want when we fight Ganon, there to, I want there to be multiple phases and the last phase it actually says like Demon King Demise. That's what I want to see. Because I've been trying to tie this in with Skyward Sword. It's so obvious. Let's go. The Gerudo earrings are back. I am the Sage of Light. Well, damn! Alrighty then! I like the design of the glass window behind them. It looks so good. Oh yeah, we'll see what happens, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, because we have five fingers and this is the fourth sage. So which finger is this? Is this ring finger or middle finger? I, I'm thinking they're leaving middle finger for last. That I will stand with you. And here, as proof of my vow. I do think this sequence is pretty cool when you see the power of like transferring to Link's arm. We get our ring finger now. Yep. Let's go. One more to go. That's so cool. Use that ring to call upon my power. Yeah, I know, right? Never saw a new avatar coming. Who could who could have guessed that's what we were going to get at the end of the temple? Seems I can finally repay you. Okay. Should we head back to town? Let's do it. We did it. Lightning Temple complete. The seven floors weren't really that daunting. That was a that was a fun one. Could have maybe done with a couple more puzzles here or there, but I enjoyed it. I thought we were gonna get a magical sword where we can control lightning. That'd be really cool. Well, we have her power for lightning. Oh yeah, is the sand shroud gone now? Have we dispelled the sand shroud? Yes, we have. Let's go. They look so unimpressed. You are free to use your town again. You don't have to hide underneath now. Let's go.
We're gonna have to go talk to Pura now that we finished the uh, regional phenomena, or at least the first four. There we go. Gerudo Town's back up and in action now. Ah, Link, I'm grateful to you for helping me save the Gerudo. I've received reports that ever since the Sand Shroud dissipated, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it's thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. Oh, nice, they're all bowing to a Vaux. That's pretty big for them. I'm sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Mm. Actually, Buliera, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda, that doesn't explain everything that's been going on. But it's possible to deny it's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule and that terrible events follow her. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? We must uncover her true identity. Hmm. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gibdos has passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. Hmm. And with my newfound power as a sage, I will be able to support you. I swear that I will do anything I can to help. Vow of Riju, Sage of Lightning. Let's go. Oh. Link, you said you had already visited Rito, Goron, and Zora's domain. I'm sure Lookout Landing would value any information you could share. Why not go there and see if you can help? I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such a reunion. Sweet. All right, we finished Gerudo Town. <laughs> All the guards are gone. I wonder if she had anything else for us. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we can do a little bit of exploring here. I do want to like really quickly just buy out the shops that are over here. And I'm sure there'll be tons of little side quests to, to pick up as we go. Um, but I do want to go back to Lookout Landing. I want to finish the quest for Regional Phenomena. And while we're there, we can talk to Hestu. We can expand some bow slots. And, you know, we still have some time. You know, it's only 8 o'clock. So I was thinking maybe we can go take on a King Gliok fight. What do you guys think? There's, I think I have two King Gliok fights left. So we can go take them on. So yeah, what do I plan on doing after I'm talking to Pura? I plan on potentially doing a King Gliok fight. Alright, let's go talk to Pura. What is this? I have no idea what I just hit. Wait, what? Come on, didn't I tell you how important that weird-looking orb is to Dahlia? Uh, if you take it away without Dahlia's say-so, it'll be me who's left with an upset Vevi to soothe. Okay, so we're not touching that. We can come back here later. We've got a warp to Gerudo Town now. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. We got the temple over here. Not the rip. The lightning temple. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's go to, uh, let's go to Lookout Landing. Alrighty. So I was thinking uh, Deep Slate and Dark Oak Bridge. That sounds like it'd be cool. I don't know what Deep Slate exactly looks like. I think, is that the, the black brick? That could look cool, pro. Well, it looks like there's members of all of the different tribes up there. I just did want to come down here real quick. Do I have enough pose? I do not have enough pose for what I need. I need like 400 pose to buy one more thing from him. Now let's go join them up there. Yeah, black bricks and dark oak, that, that could be cool. Where's, uh, where's Pyrrha? 
No Pura? Are you up top? She's gotta be here somewhere. There we go. What's up, Pura? Linky, I heard what happened. The major cold front that descended upon the Rito, Rito and the marbled rock roast that the Gorons couldn't get enough of. Then there was the sludge contaminating the Zora's water, and finally the Gerudo men, uh, menaced by Gibdos and a Sand Shroud. You faced some serious challenges, and you overcame them all. Well done, Link. So the person resembling Princess Zelda was behind the scenes for all of the f all of the phenomena that you discovered. This has to be related to the upheaval somehow, and I have something important to share as well. Hmm. Well, let's gather everyone so we can share the information. Uh-oh. Blood Moon. Oh god, um, I'm concerned. Our Blood Moon's not just like a common occurrence to them now, because they get worried every time too. Uh -huh. uh, isn't that... <gasps> Link, look at this! Uh-oh. Quickly! Is that Zelda? Yeah, that's not Zelda. I don't trust it. I don't know. Something's something's off. Your Highness. <sighs> and she's no longer there. So is this trying to tell us that every time there's a blood moon, she appears there? Did you see that? The princess, that was the princess, wasn't it? I was going to share that I saw a figure that looked an awful lot like Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am. I thought she'd left the castle entirely, but she was inside. We have to hurry and rescue her. The soldiers and I can't reach Hyrule Castle as it is now. You might be the only one who can do it. Uh. I'm sorry, Link. I know I'm always throwing you into dangerous situations, but you really are the only one up to the task. Please come back in one piece. That applies to both you and the princess. Got it? All right, so regional phenomena is complete. Yeah, it sounds like I need to go to the castle, right? And there's just crisis at Hyrule Castle. You're at the floating Hyrule Castle alongside a red moon. Much is still unclear, but you should go to Hyrule Castle. So I, I don't know if that's going to, like, send us straight down the rabbit hole of doing the end of the game. It's like five, those, those are the only two main quests I have right now. There's a bunch of side adventures I have. And I know... There's something going on in the Farren skies, because, like, uh, where is it? Can we even see it from here? I don't even know if we can see it from here, but up, up in the skies over here. There's something over there that we have not found yet, so obviously there's something we need to do. Uh, but I don't want to rush into the, um, I don't want to rush into the castle right now. I want to go do a King Gliok fight. What do you guys think of that? I think we should go do a King Gliok fight. It doesn't lead you to the end of the game. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna take a break from the main quests. The Lightning Temple was my goal for today, so we're gonna we're gonna do one of those major optional fights. We're gonna do a King Gliok, and then we'll go around doing some more shrines. I got tons more shrines to do. One of them might be this one. Let's see. Did I do the shrine? Um, what's happening? Oh, it's the power. Okay, there we go. Um, I have not done this shrine. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's do this one while we're here. We'll fight the mighty construct. We'll bring the uh, the little crystal back over. Yeah, we'll do this. Cause this will just be like a a Rauru's blessing shrine. I looked it up cause I didn't know and I didn't want to finish the game yet. Yeah, I probably would have done the same if you hadn't told me, pro. I am slightly concerned with how we're going to get back with it, but that's a puzzle for afterwards. Bro, what is this? Yeah. Ooh, let's use a cheap weapon. Cool. Where's your hitbox, sir? 
Wait, but actually though. Um, what? I think it's hidden inside. Hang on. He's hiding it. He is hiding it. Stay still, stay still, stay still. Oh my god, stay still! He's trying to reattach the block. Bro, you can't just move it as a mid shot. What is this? Just gonna keep ripping blocks off until he falls apart. Did he fall? Yeah, there we go. He fell apart. Where's his head? Alrighty, time for some massive damage. You're gonna take. You're gonna take your own flux construct bullshit back. Yo, all right, all right. Half health in one go, not bad, not bad. I don't like this one, this one's annoying. Oh God, yeah. Does he bring him back or do they warp back? That didn't work. Wait, I can, uh, home it in, let's go. Bro, you gotta aim higher. That did not work. That worked, there we go. He didn't fall apart though. I need you to fall apart. Shit. Don't hit me, don't hit me. This didn't go anywhere, god damn it. <laughs> I can't even get up on him. All right, that didn't work. You know what? Yeah, let's just use these again. There's springs everywhere for a reason. Ooh, that was kind of close. I don't have a bow selected. I'm like, why can't I go into my uh, bullet timing? Hello. There we go. I'm back here. Oh, all right, bye. No way! Oh, I thought he was gonna take fall damage and die. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 no! He literally put it in the center, oh my god. I almost had him. Bro, you is out of blocks. There we go. Goodbye, get out of here. Let's go! I'm glad I told you because I got spoiled on some things while I was trying to figure it out. Yes, I'm glad I did not get spoiled on things. Thank you for the tips. The devices don't waste durability. Croton, prove that in another video. Which devices don't waste durability? Also, I need to put this on here. Yeah, look at that. That's a good weapon. All right, so we gotta somehow bring this crystal all the way back there. Oh, oh, hitting them to activate them does not waste durability. That's actually really nice to know. Okay, I see what you mean now. Um, How does this expect me to launch this back there? Cause I don't trust this machine they have set up. Oh, it's on a stake in the ground. Oh, interesting. I kind of wanted it to be tilted though. I feel like this needs to be tilted, no? Yeah, I feel like I feel like that needs a tilt to it. I, you know what? Let's test this with me first. Let's test this if it works with me and not just the item. No. No, it is not. I do not trust this thing. I don't trust it at all. I'm gonna be real honest. We're gonna, uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna make our own flying machine. <laughs> we're just gonna make the bike because that's all I know how to make. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's exactly what I'm doing. Just build the bike. Cause I don't trust that. I, I'm i not gonna lose this crystal to it falling off the map. That's not gonna work. Shh. 
sure. Oh my god, it's so top heavy. <laughs> okay, hang on. It, it is it is quite top heavy. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. About right there. Uh, there was another clever build I saw that would be pretty handy for the Koroks that need to travel. It involves the bottom of a balloon, the bottom of a balloon, and four fans. The bottom part of the balloon, meaning the basket. Oh, I see, I see what you mean. I don't think I'm even gonna be able to get on this. That's, uh, that's the unfortunate part. Unless... No. No. Come on, go upright. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this doesn't work. This is this does this does not work. What if I put it on the back? Oh, that, that that's kind of centered. I don't I can't physically get on it. God damn it. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Okay. All right. All right. We're airborne. I can't turn right. So we're going to the left. We can only turn left. No! Shit! Oh, man. Now what? That shit's just straight up gone. I'm warping back to this. God damn it. That did not work at all, and I just wasted two of my fans. I'm mad. God dang it, man. Why couldn't that just work? Why do things have to be so heavy? Please tell me the crystal respawned up here. Please tell me the crystal respawned up here. Alright, thank god. I don't know if the fight respawned. It kind of looks like there's cubes there, but I don't know. It's kind of, you know, covered in a freaking cloud. Oh no, it's just the springs. Alright, well, that was useless, so let's build our own flying machine over here, I guess. This is gonna be a masterpiece, just you wait. Just you wait. Uh, the fan is not centered on this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cool, that works. Okay, and then we just need a thing of wood. Thing of wood. This is food. Where's my wood? Here we go. Stick you there. This is gonna work perfectly. First try. Am I controlling it? Oh, I'm controlling it, I'm controlling it, okay. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Am I burning? I'm burning. <laughs> that's great! Oh, that's great, I'm literally burning. <laughs> we need to, we need to curve. This is not turning. They're, they're, I'm concerned it's not turning, guys. Maybe if I stop controlling it? Can we, uh, you know, we're, we're slowly turning. Just not where we need to be. It doesn't turn with the balloon? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> that did not work. Alright, fuck the balloons. That was annoying as shit. Why didn't I just get a, a wing? I should've just gotten one of the wings. 
I need to rewarp again. God damn it. This detour took so much longer than I thought it would. <laughs> oh, jeez. It concerned me when he used a cart for a supposed flying machine. I just needed a base, dude. I just needed a base for it. Doesn't matter what the base is made out of. Wow, nice jump, Blink. Good job. Oh, there goes a star. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. All the way on the mountain. It doesn't, but a cart is too small. The cart, the cart was fine for what I needed. It had enough surface area, I just couldn't turn it. I just needed a base. Doesn't matter what it was. Y'all are so picky with my devices. My God. Are you serious? No. Ugh. Are you taking out the wrong devices? I had a two fan variant here. All right, I guess not. There. Can I fly this damn crystal where it needs to go now? Did it not? Why did you attach the wrong thing? What is this? All right, let's go. We're out of here. That I'm so bad at making these machines. I took so long. I'm gonna overshoot it now is what's gonna happen. I'm trying to kamikaze over here. Here we go. Well, now that that took way longer than it ever should have, let's get ourselves a blessing shrine. There we go. Yeah, I probably should have done the wing idea first. Like I said, guys, I'm not good at building machines in this thing. I don't claim to be good at that. That's why I just use the hover bike everywhere I go, because I don't need any, I don't need all these fancy ass machines. Two fans and a control stick, I'm good to go. Oh, and this should fully heal me as well, which is perfect. Nice. And a mighty strong bow. The other attempts were funny. All right, good. I'm glad you thought they were funny. My time was not wasted. It was for the entertainment value. I can't wait to traverse the skies with the basket flying machine. Nah, dude, I'm telling you, the, the motorbike is great. Motorbike's all you need. Content, baby. Well, now we're going to give you content. We're going to go fight a King Gliok, and I'm actually going to use the motorbike. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm a big, big fan of the motorbike. It's great. It works so well. Why would I ever need anything else? All right, I am heading the southeast direction. Let's go. Oh, it's right over there. All right, there's the island. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones I haven't fought yet. I don't think I fought either of the King Gliox on the east side of the map. And depending on how fast this goes, we could try and go for the other fight as well. Should probably go up high in case I don't make it there. I just realized my battery uh, might run out. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the hover bike. The hover bike is great. Motor, yeah, yeah, it's a fan bike, motor bike, hover bike. It, semantics, y'all, it's fine. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm referencing. I don't know, guys. Do you think I'm gonna run out of battery before I get there? Actually, I have an idea. Let's just get up as high as we can. Not if you hold forward. No, if I hold forward, I'm gonna go straight down. I'm trying to gain as much height as I can right now. We're getting kind of close. Probably like a thousand meters away. Look, we're almost over even tide. We're actually, we're way closer than I thought we were gonna get. <laughs> this thing's just gonna drop out of the sky in a second, ready? Run out of battery power and then ooh, just plummet out the sky. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. Alrighty, this King Gliok does not stand a chance. He's not even going to see me coming from above. <laughs> This is perfect. The wing got me exactly where I needed to go. All right, let's fight. Yo, I can't even jump off it. <laughs> Oops. No, the wings are getting in the way. Whoops. Let's go, got him. All right, do I want to use this one? No, let's use this. Uh, let's start with this one. Swing your sword, Link. This is actually not doing as much damage as I thought it would. I might waste all my good weapons here. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Ooh, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I gotta get back in my uh, setup. I, I have a nice little setup that I usually use for these fights, but I'm not in my spot. Here is my spot, or at least one of them. There we go. Yeah, so somehow, the first Gliok I ever killed happened to be a King Gliok. Oh God, that was a little too close for comfort. Completely avoided the flame head. That was weird. A more. No, that last eyeball didn't hit. There we go. Oh, dude, he's gonna fall! Yo! No, he didn't fall off! Oh, it totally looked like he was gonna fall off the map. That would be the second time I've ever had that happen in a King Leoc fight where he fell off the map. Dude, wait, wait, wait! No, he's literally off the map. What is this? He did fall. He didn't fall, he's flying, but he's off the map. Oh shit. No, he fell! Y'all, he's falling! Wait! <laughs> How did I do this again? This is insane. He literally, he's falling all the way to the ground right now. Whether or not he's gonna take fall damage, I don't know, but now we gotta wait for him to fly all the way back up here. Well, that sucks. I've never had it happen where he started flying right before he fell off, but I, yeah, 15 minutes later, I can't, I can't do anything. Okay, hang on, we can go down there. We can go down there. Where is he? I see him. He's already on his way back up. Actually, wait, this might work. This might work. I have an idea. I totally have an idea. <laughs> this is great. King Gliok fight on the go. Yep, it's targeting the eyes all right. 
Alright, that's two heads. That should be three. Alright, he's falling, he's falling. Oh my god, he's falling on me! <laughs> oh my god, that was scary as hell. I thought he was gonna kill me midair, dude. <laughs> what even? I don't even, his health is not even on the screen. I don't know how much health he has. The, the fight's totally busted. The fight's so busted. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh shit, this might not work. Yeah, all right, those are no longer hitting him. Uh, this, this is an issue. This is an issue. We need to make a flying machine right now. Um, oh God. Okay, all right. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch him in time. I'm gonna be real honest. Where are you aiming? Oh God. This is gonna be so bad. Get on, get on. I, actually, I might be able to catch him. He's gonna fall in the ocean though, so <laughs> this is not gonna work. Um, I think he's gaining height faster than I am, which is an issue. This is a big issue. This is insane. <laughs> what is this fight, man? Yeah, I definitely cannot catch him. If I had more rockets, I could. This is what I had to do last time. When this happened off stream, I just waited for him to fly all the way back up to the island, which is right above me, so I can't see it. Yeah, he, he's definitely gaining height faster than I am. I cannot catch up to him, which is gonna suck because that means I'm gonna have to warp and that means his health is definitely gonna reset. Yeah, I can't even see him. I can't aim up that high. Come here, dude. He did kind of get stuck under the island a little bit last time, so maybe I could catch him there, but I'm, I'm very quickly running out of battery. Actually, uh, we won't run out of battery. We can do this. We can do this. We're, we're totally gonna do this. I can take one of the large zone eye charges to give myself infinite battery for a bit. And hopefully his health won't have respawned. I'm hesitant to bring him all the way back down to the ground again, though, because I still don't know how much health he has. Where'd he go? Yeah, here we are. So we're right under the island. I need to... Take the zone I charge. All right, sweet. There we go. We'll make it back up. Hopefully now we'll see how much health he has. I'm gonna be kind of mad if it respawned all his health. Where's the islands? Yeah, yeah, see, he's, he's like floating under the island right now. He's stuck. This is what happened last time. He had to like get out from underneath it. Yeah, there you go. He's, he's making his way. He's getting there. Talk about an insane fight. Like, this is so much to deal with. And we made it. And he has like no health. Let's go. Let's go. I want him over the island though. It'd be really helpful if you were over the island. Uh, okay. Oh, actually this part of the fight really, really, really sucks. So... We're gonna do this. That'll make it easier. I think that's it. Unless, I think I need to get the lightning head. Yeah, 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 one more hit in the lightning head. All right, he's dead. He's done for. Fall damage for the win. Let's go. <laughs> what a fight, dude, what a fight. Let's freaking go. I don't know what it is. That's the second out of four Gleok fights. Yeah, that's the second out of four King Gleok fights I've done where it's horribly gotten glitched. That's hilarious. 
Please watch that. Oh my god. <laughs> RKO. Wait, dude. Is that when he was about to land on me? Oh yeah, he was just after it. Oh god. Here, hang on. Oh, that's not gonna work. Hang on. Will that work? It's not gonna work. I'm sorry, the overlay's not working. This clip is hilarious, though. I did not expect him to freaking fall on me. I need to see my reaction. Yeah, I, th I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was definitely dead. One massive minute long clip. Yeah, really, really. Let's go get our, uh, our victory spoils. If you guys were not aware what the reward is for killing a King Gleok, now you'll know. It's simply one Sage of Will. That's it. Or Sage's Will. Not bad though. I squeeze in your laughter at the end. Thank you. I do like when I get some of the, the, the laughter at the end of clips. Okay, so the next... We don't need this medallion over here anymore. The next King Gleok fight and what should be the last one is all the way over here. So... What's the closest, like, tower? I don't even know if that tower is going to help us get there. Yeah, let's, let's just go to the tower. Let's do that. Might as well take on another Gliok fight. I only have one more to do. And the nice thing about Tears of the Kingdom compared to Breath of the Wild is they tell you when you've already beaten a boss. So if I were to go back to one of the other King Gliok, uh locations, it would say I've already defeated it, which is so good. I wish the clip had the part where the dragon actually fell off because that was really funny. Uh, where are you, buddy? Where is that? Ah, there it is. It's hidden. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is all the way over there. We got a ways to go. Oh, Breath of the Wild did that too? Okay, I didn't think it did. I guess, okay, maybe it did, it's just, you still have to go around and find them all to determine whether or not you have defeated them. That's what it was. I know there were medals for when you killed them all, for Kilton, yeah. All right, I didn't know the stars were in Breath of the Wild as well. I thought that was something new to tears. Oh God. Am I even gonna make it there? Even if I do bring out a wing. Yeah, the wing should hopefully make it there. releasing for too long. Yeah, that clip is great. The clip is great. Glad it happened on stream this time. All right, let's, uh, let's bust out a wing. Imagine if I hit the King Gleok. Oh wait, this isn't even a King Gleok. What? But they were in all four corners of the sky, I thought. This is not the King Gliok. So wait, is there not a fourth? Is there not a fourth King Gliok in the sky? I thought there was one in each corner of the map. Because that looks like it's another construct. That's what we're heading to. All of them aren't just King Glioks. Oh, well, the three I've found so far in the corners were. I guess this one's not. That's okay. Well, uh... Oh. We'll keep heading to this one. Might as well. That was a pretty fun fight, though. If I had the ability to do more than 60 seconds, I would have gotten the fall, too. Yeah, that stinks. That stinks that it was too long. He just barely missed. What a fail. Oh, a little low. There we go. I missed. God dang it. He's got a chest on him. I just keep trying to rip blocks off. Oh my god, stop moving. Let me rip your blocks off. Wait, did that work? No, he moved it. Dang it. Razor was about to hit it. 
That hurt. That hurt. Okay. Okay then. I almost got him in one go. It was close. Where is he? Come on, there he is. Dang it, why is I was about to shoot? Got him. All right, this battle's over. Nice. <laughs> One more strike. What have you made an edited video of your whole playthrough? I don't think I'm gonna make an edited video of my entire playthrough, because I would not be able to fit that. A, I would not be able to fit that into one single video, and B, that's a lot. Um, but that would be a funny clip just from that fight. Where'd that chest go? He had a chest attached to him. Wait a second, hang on. There was a chest on that beast. Where the hell did it go? Are you kidding me? Did y'all not see the chest? I could have sworn there was a chest. Yes, I did fight a Gleok in the depths. I fought one over here. The Gleok den. It's underneath the Thylo ruins. Uh, get a grab on the green block and keep shaking your control stick to disassemble the dude. No, that's what I was trying to do. I just didn't get the green block. That's all. That was the fourth and final one according to what I'm reading. Oh, only three in the sky. All right, so I fought every King Gleok. I haven't done any of the normal Gleoks, but I've done all the the King ones. All right, let's, uh, we've got a little bit of time left. Let's just do some shrines to end the night. Let's do a couple shrines. Revered, can you throw that clip in uh, in Discord as well? Yeah, I don't know what my luck is, but I just somehow managed to always glitch out the King Gleok fights. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, another blessing shrine. All right. Well, that's that was easy. <laughs> we'll get even more shrines done. Welcome back, Crumbs. Good to see you again, buddy. All right, magic staff, that's fine. We just finished and horribly glitched one of the optional fights in this game, Crumbs. You missed it, but there is a clip in chat if you want to check it out. There's the clip for you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I literally got body slammed by the Gleok. I did not expect it to land on me, and I definitely expected it to do damage, and it did not do damage. I was shocked. Very shocked by that. All right, next shrine. So I definitely have almost 120 ground shrines marked. So we have 82 shrines completed, and I'm <laughs> I'm only missing seven light roots. Oh my god, there's really not many light roots left. I know one of them is like basically at the Ganondorf fight, so obviously I cannot complete that quite yet. But I do intend on getting all 152 shrines before we take on Ganon. Timely catches. Alrighty, it's a pressure plate. Oh, there's not a pressure plate. Okay. Launch me up. Sweet. We're rolling this down and then... What does this do? Ah, I see, I see. Okay. All right. We can work with this. Just got to hit it at the right time. Nothing wrong with that. For it and go. That was way too early. 
There we go. Alright. Second time's a charm. Yeah, right? That jump scare? Oh my god. It got me so bad. I definitely got jump scared by that. And that's not even something you were supposed to get jump scared by. Alright, on to the next room. This looks like it's the last room in this shrine. Last puzzle. What do we have here? Alright, so we got the launch platform there. This is gonna activate what? That activates that, okay. Let's get up there and uh, find where this ball is. Oh wow, this is a very big room, okay. Jeez, timing's gonna be interesting on this one. Couldn't I just like, stop it midair? There's also something in the corner over here, which I'm gonna assume is an optional chest. Uh, no, there's actually nothing here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Come back. Dang it. Okay, so, um, I see what we need to do. I was hoping I could hit the stop button or the recall button on that ball, but it did not work. When I saw the Gliok falling from the sky right above you, I almost shouted, Oh shit! And then I realized I'm at home. <laughs> do not curse at home. No, you can even see it in my reaction. Like, if you're looking at me when it happens, I was terrified. I thought I was gonna get killed by it. Here we go. Please work. Uh, let's go. Perfect. That was great timing on this shrine. Either way, I laughed so hard when that happened. Yeah, no, I'm glad you guys laughed because me being in the player's perspective, I was so scared at that moment. I just saw a massive beast falling right at me from above as I'm floating midair. So even if it hadn't, even if it had hurt me, but hadn't killed me, the fall damage would have killed me. That was nutty. Ten minutes till nine o'clock. How many more shrines do you guys think we can fit in in that time? Can you imagine if someone was able to recreate that moment in VR? No, no, not in VR. Oh my god. I, I'm good enough with the screen in front of me. That was scary. I'm I'm fine without it being surrounding my peripheral vision and everything. You know, I don't need that in my life. Speaking of which, uh, when FNAF VR 2 comes out, I will not be able to stream that. Because I don't have a VR setup for streaming. VR Zelda game when. Not as long as I keep putting uh, whatever those things were called. Oh, another Blessing Shrine. Let's go. No Gibdos. No Ganondorf hands coming at me. No. No, I don't need that in VR. Big battery. Nice, nice. If they're all Raru Blessings, then you would complete most of them? No, I'm just getting lucky. I found, what is this, two Raru Blessings already? And I think that's already enough for another stamina. Yeah, we can get more stamina vessels. I gotta find more of the shrines in the sky. I feel like those are gonna be a little bit harder to find. At least some of them will. Okay, what's up next? Let's go. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do this before we end stream. There's a shrine here, and then I, I made it into the Korok forest, but I didn't talk to the Deku tree yet. So let's talk to the Deku tree. I do have PSVR. I have PSVR 1. And I guess I could technically stream, like, straight from the PlayStation with that, but then there's no face cam. It's not a nice microphone. So I, I don't want to do that. I wouldn't be able to read chat in the headset either, so I, I don't see a point in doing that. You have an Oculus and you played lots of horror games? Crumbs, I could never. I could never. I would like to one day get an Oculus Quest 2 and then I could stream VR games from my PC. Swing to hit. Alrighty. Oh, what the? There's a ball and a chain. I guess we gotta attach that over here. That's unique. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, this is fine. I was gonna recall it, but we don't we don't even have to. Do -do 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 -do. How did I know that sound effect was gonna happen? Um oh. 
Can I not just do this? Ready, go! <laughs> Dang it. Can I even break this chain? I don't think I, yeah, no, you cannot break those chains. You can do this though. <laughs> That's the easiest way to get through these shrines. You don't even have to do the puzzle. All right, how does it actually want you to do this one? Well, first off, let's get the chest. Oh, dang it, I can't grab the chest. Um, maybe gotten a little bit harder than I thought it was. What in the world? Okay. Alrighty then. Oh, do I just have to like... I, I have no idea how it wants me to do this one. I'm gonna be real honest, I don't know what it's looking for me to do. Can I not just like push it all the way? Go, come on, hit it. Wait, 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 wait. I might be able to get this to work. Hang on. No, I don't know what the heck it wants me to do. Screw it. We're cheesing it. <laughs> it's too easy, man. It's too easy. I genuinely don't know how they want you to get anything in here though. Cheater! I'm not a cheater! It's a built-in method in the game. You did the shrine the intended way? I'm gonna be honest, I genuinely don't know what they want me to do here. Um, oh wait, I can do this. Who's cheating now, huh? Who's cheating now? Oh God, why did you not jump? God damn it. Why? I don't get why he just fucking walks off the edge sometimes. Have you seen the Jenga shrine? I don't think I have. Uh, all right, let's try that again, I guess. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Bro, what the fuck? Okay. All right. All right, Link. Oh, good. The block's just on top of me. Good. What if I, can I put this here? No! Oh my God. Well, that didn't work. Let's try it again over here. I'm just gonna leave it up in the air for a little bit so I actually have time to react once it's up there. That'll probably work a little better. Here we go, look at that. Why was that so painful? All for one large zone I charge. Good. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Let's get out of here. We gotta find out what's going on with the Deku tree and then we will end stream. You gotta find that shrine sometime? The Jenga shrine? Yeah, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. I, I mean, I probably already found it. I just haven't completed it is all. Like I said, I'm not really missing that many shrines. Okay, so um, something's going on here and none of these guys were talking. They're all, they've all just been silent. So I haven't tried actually talking to the, the Deku tree yet. So I wanna, I wanna do that. This brought me all the way up, didn't it? Uh, no, that's probably where I wanted to be. Where's the... Where's the little platform we can talk to him from? Here it is. Mm. Oof, my stomach is not well. Oh, all right, that's all he's got to say. Let's, uh, let's go inside and see what's going on with the stomach. 
But is there something not right here? We got gloom all in his stomach. Oh, and there's a god of statue here. Oh, nice. You can get some extra stamina. So what am I, two more upgrades away from full three wheel stamina? Not bad. Then we can just prioritize all hearts the rest of the way. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Let's go, baby, let's go. Two, three, three fifths of the way. Three fifths of the way to another stamina wheel. All right, so it looks like they want you to dive down in the gloom here, so, uh. I guess that's what we're doing. I thought I already had all the chasm entrances here. But obviously I did not get this one. Is this area closed off? I've not been in this part. Oh God, it's the hands. Oh no. That's gonna kill me. Oh God. I was not expecting to find this here. Jesus. Hang on, hit all the eyes, hit all the eyes. Oh my god, hit all the eyes. I refuse. I refuse to play your games, hands. These things are creepy as shit. I don't know why they're not actually coming at me right now, but I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. Oh god, now they're coming at me. No, 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 I don't need more hands respawning. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Phantom Ganon? What? 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 What is Phantom Ganon doing here? Oh my god, 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 no, 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 no. Get up, please. Um let's let's let let's let's fight with something a little stronger. Good god. He's dropping gloom everywhere he goes. God damn, that is a strong attack. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need to cook more food. God dang it. Dude, Phantom Ganon's scary as shit. I need to put on gloom armor or something. I can't, I can't with all the gloom behind me. Ah, damn, man. Let me get an attack in. Oh, it actually looks like the Ganon from the beginning of the game, the first cutscene. Tried, I tried. I just want to get a flurry attack. A flurry rush. Can you get your shield out? Thank you. Nah, I keep mistiming it. It's fine. This actually isn't that bad of a fight, honestly. Okay, well, that's not fun. Don't mind me while I spam apples. I got an ad while it was getting intense. Oh no, crumbs. I'm basically full. Let's finish him off, come on. Oh, there we go, got Flurry Rush. Yeah, Revered, we can totally do that. Let's go! Phantom Ganon is down! Bye-bye! Oh, is it dispelling the gloom in the area? Yo, I think we solved the Deku Tree's stomach issue. I think we had to do that fight. That's what it was. Let's go! I would love to like fully eliminate all the gloom from the depths. That'd be dope. All right, I think we have repaired the forest. Oh, look, and then we got Koroks coming down for us. Do I get three Korok seeds for my troubles? You did it. Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The great Deku Tree is waiting for you. Let's go. Let's go. We rescued the Deku Tree. How do I actually get out of here, though? Um. You know, I guess I can just warp back up.
Yeah, crumbs. We were just talking about Tay Bolte. That's all. Tay's is uh, his nickname. All right. So I want to see what the Deku Tree has to ha has to say to us now. Now that we've rescued the forest. Oh, and Hestu's back. I forgot. We still uh, we also did not talk to Hestu. I'll do that off stream. I'll uh, I'll expand some of my slots. It looks like we actually have a uh, Blood Moon coming up though. Rip. Hmm. Ah, so it is you. I must apologize. I am still quite groggy, as though I am awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It has been some time since last we spoke. Have you been well? Hmm, yes, the last time we spoke. That was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. That was Breath of the Wild. That was a long time ago. Oh, did we just get another memory? Hang on. Yeah, the Master Sword is still in the, in the stone. Princess Zelda of Hyrule and Link. Keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully nice. Restored. Do we get the fee sound effects again? I want to hear fee. Go on, then, Link. Draw it once more. Remember when the sword was supposed to stay in that stone just to seal Ganon away or demise? Deku Tree, thank you so much. <laughs> there is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself. No Too bad it breaks in the first fight with Ganon. You're right, Link put it back so it would restore itself, yeah. The sword that was after the Ganon, the Calamity Ganon fight. Bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. The sword. The work of Zelda before she was Zelda, when she was still the goddess. The master sword. Oof. Nice. Thank God we got it back again. You appear to be faced with trouble once more, but I see you have procured the Master Sword. That sword, I sense a sacred power within it that is stronger than before. What has come to pass? Take heed, you do not rely solely upon the power of that sword. You must steal your mind and your spirit as well. I am always here. Should you ever have need of me, you need only ask. Recovering the hero sword. Wait, part of the main objective. Oh yeah, I completed it. Okay, so we have the sword. Okay, I was gonna say I I already have the sword, so we shouldn't we shouldn't be getting a new quest to go obtain the sword. Yeah, I I guess I skipped the quest because I already had the sword. <laughs> Whoops. That's usually what happens though. But hey, we got more memories now. So what memories am I missing? We got, wait, wait, wait. We just got memory number one. Oh, the Master Sword's power. So that's the first memory. Cause I guess that's after Calamity Ganon, we come and retrieve the sword and then the awakening happens. Okay, all right. So what are we still missing? We're missing something after the birth of the, De the Demon King. So yeah, there's, there's definitely something important that we're missing. And then something before Zelda gives us back the Master Sword or something like that. And then the very end, we're missing stuff before the Tears of the Dragon. There's more, there's more to get. That's the quest I purpos purposely chose not to skip. I mean, I don't think I missed anything. I didn't technically skip it. It was just gonna tell me to go get the sword and I already got the sword. Too bad I can't like resheathe the sword here, but we got it. Wait, there was also, um, there was something on top of the tree. There was a, uh, there, there was a Korok on top of the tree last game, so I want to see if there's still one there. Please tell me I can up warp straight to the top. Um, What the heck? Where am I? What is this room? I've been
been spotted. I wonder how you got in here. Well, guess what? We're in the Great Deku Tree's mouth. Guess what else? I'm putting together a secret room here. Right now, I'm fixing the decor, uh, but I need more pretty things. I need four blue nightshades that glow gently at night and two really vivid br uh, bright bloom seeds. For the bright bloom seeds, I'm looking for something bigger than what you can find in the general shop. I think I have what he needs. Yeah, we got everything he needs. See, I love being able to finish quests like that. I don't have to go collect anything because I've already collected it all. See, now my secret room is all done. I'm sure Deku Tree appreciates all the flowers in his mouth. Oh, nice. Korok fabric. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the lips. I see. That's funny. I did not mean to end up in here. Whoops. Let's, uh, let's keep going up. There were Koroks with shops? Yeah, there's Koroks with shops in here. They have an inn and everything. I know the DLC has already been announced for Tears of the Kingdom. What? What's in the DLC for that? Um. Oh, ha sorry, hasn't been announced. Hasn't been announced. But if they do announce it, can't wait for it. That'll that'll be surely good. I thought you said they had. Yeah, yeah I, re I read that wrong. I knew there was a Korok up here. Did I do it? Did I hide things well enough? Oh, Mr. Hero, is that you? You see, I wanted to play with everyone by making them hunt for treasure, so I hid stuff around the Great Deku Tree. But I want to make sure I hid things well enough, so I need someone to test it out. I don't want to ruin it for the Koroks. Sure, I'll test it. Uh, the first two hidden treasures are a Forest Dweller Sword and a Forest Dweller Spear. I hid them higher up than the Great Deku Tree's face. If you find them, bring them to me. All right, so that's a little treasure hunt. We can leave that for later, though. I think this is a good stopping point here. We've uh, we kind of rescued the tree. Oh, look! There's a uh, there's one of the objects he hid. That was easy. That was like way easier than I thought. I bet you one of them's on this branch too, right? Hopefully, now that I've awoken the tree, I can also like just explore the forest. Cause as you can see, I have one shrine in the middle, and based on the light routes, there are three more shrines that I need to get in this area. Uh, but I haven't found them yet. I'll probably try and find them off stream and then um, I guess next week or potentially Saturday we'll do some more of Zelda. Okay, uh, there's actually not anything on this branch. I was really hoping there'd be a sword hidden up here, but there's uh, there's not. I wonder, can I actually just get over to the shrine now or is it still, yeah, it's still just gonna fog of wind me. All right, all right, we uh, we can't go there. It's gonna put me back on the branch, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, that is unfortunately going to bring us to the end of stream, y'all. We're gonna send a raid over to Tay Bolte. He's playing some of the brand new season of Fortnite, which I actually still have not tried myself. I gotta try that. If you're following us for the raid, feel free to copy and paste the Dojo Squad raid message. Either the first message if you're a follower or the second if you are a subscriber. Uh, just a heads up, I will not be streaming Wednesday or Friday this week. Those are my normal stream days, and I have conflicts, so I can't stream them. But I will be back on Saturday. We're going to do a nice, long Fall Guys stream. Maybe we'll throw in some Zelda, but the priority is definitely going to be on Fall Guys this time. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday night. Say hello to Tay Bolte for me, and I will catch y'all later. Peace out.